Oh, yeah. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Boozy Bobber. Hey, we making a uh, breaded chicken in the air fryer today. So first things first, um, you, want, you want to lay all your chicken out after you've already patted it dry, which I've already did that. Um, I'm gonna try to edit through this so y'all don't have to watch all this slow ass process. All right, now we're back and you're gonna to wanna to start your seasoning with uh, salt and just salt and pepper. Cause you're gonna Okay, then you're gonna to wanna to crack two eggs into a narrow dish. Can you give me a fork, please? You're gonna to wanna to beat the fuck out of them things, you know what I'm saying? And now you're gonna to wanna to pour your breadcrumbs into a, another dish. Which we got two of them right here. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Goes over. You want about two cups, but I don't give a fuck, so. Now you're gonna wanna take your chicken and the coat at both sides and the egg. You want to place it into the breadcrumbs. Just put some breadcrumbs on top of it. Then you want to press the breadcrumb into the chicken. And then just re repeat that step for however many uh, chicken tenders you have. I'll see y'all whenever we have the next step. Okay, so once you're about a basket full of tenders in, you wanna go ahead and preheat your air fryer to 400. And once the air fryer is preheated, you wanna, you're gonna to wanna to put your tenders in, but you're not gonna to wanna to fill the basket up so the basket itself has more room to uh, circulate air. And then while those are cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and just finish egg washing and putting breadcrumb on the rest of your t tenders. And the first round, they're gonna be 400 degrees on for your six minutes. And then you're gonna flip them 400 degrees for five minutes and they'll be done. Okay, so once your air fryer is done preheating, you're gonna to wanna to spray your chicken real fast with some oil. And then once you place the chicken, you wanna place the chicken oil side down. And then once that is placed down, you're gonna to wanna to spray the other side. So I'm gonna take this over to the air fryer real quick. Okay, now that you got the chicken placed oil side down, you're gonna to wanna to spray the back side of the chicken with oil as well. And then into the air fryer for six minutes. All right, so I got all the chicken uh, breadcrumbs on it. It looks like a lot because it is. Um, it was my first time going to Costco. And I had I actually had forgot to season the chicken, so I'm gonna just throw some seasoning on there real fast. You can use whatever seasoning you would like to use. We got about two more minutes left on the chicken that's already in the air fryer. Damn, that was gonna be salt. And I'm gonna grab some paprika. I forgot to grab it. All right, now me personally, I'm using um, garlic, salt, onion powder, and paprika. 
The seasonings is totally your choice. You're gonna wanna go ahead and spray this chicken as well. And then once the two minutes is up, we are gonna flip it, cook it for five minutes on the other side, and just place this chicken into the air fryer and I'll see y'all in a minute. All right, now this is the chicken halfway through. Remember, we already put oil on the other side, so we're just flipping it to cook for another five minutes on 400 degrees. Get on, flip, flip the whiskey in. Get it back into the air fryer. So when this hits seven minutes, or seven and a half minutes, we're gonna switch out our chicken. And then we're gonna have mac and cheese. It looks shitty. It was leftovers, first time at Costco. Way too much chicken, so we're frying this chicken up, and it's gonna be lunch or dinner tomorrow. All right, so we're just about to hit seven and a half minutes. This is what the tenders will look like. You now it looks pretty good. Not restaurant quality, but good. We're gonna put the tenders in there. And remember, we have already oiled our top sides of our other tenders. So we're gonna place another basket full into the basket, face down, oil side. I'm not a chef, by the way. Only on Tuesday. All right, so we'll do six minutes, 400 degrees. Y'all know the drill now. All right, so we have now made it to two and a half minutes. I forgot to oil the top sides, but you want to oil them. So now we're gonna flip them. And y'all know the drill, another five minutes. All right, so the, this batch is finished. I'm gonna take it out. Get the tongs. Chicken looking good, man. It's looking good. Put the bitch in there. My apologies for the language. So now, I'm not gonna forget to oil the other side of the chicken this time place this chicken face down. Let me pat it in a little bit. What wonders that did, yeah. Face down. And then hit it with some oil. Y'all know the drill, man. Six minutes. Four. I think, yeah, 400 degrees, hopefully. Boom. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, retarded, I'm sorry. Man, it, it ain't even got a preheat, bro. This shit bugging. <sighs> Hopefully it don't take long. All right, I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all when it's time to flip. That's cute. All right, now we're. I'm only doing uh, five and a half minutes this time because it cooked through the preheat. We're gonna take out five and a half minutes. It's looking pretty good. 
Clip it. Put that game for five minutes. So I'll see y'all in about five minutes. All right, now you know, we're coming up in five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take these out. Place them in here. Plates. We're having uh, chicken tenders, mac and cheese, and salad tonight. We got the chicken plated up. The mac and cheese looks a lot better now that it's been cooked. It's, um, or not cooked, warmed up, my fault, my fault. Some mac and cheese. And the salad is gonna go on in, in a bowl. So uh, that's gonna to conclude today's YouTube video. If y'all fuck with it, go on and drop a sub. You know what I'm saying? Make sure to leave a comment. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out.